The incredible thing about the owner of the vineyard and Jesus' parable today is that he keeps giving those tenants another chance. Even after they mis mistreat his servants and disrespect him, he keeps trying again and again, even sending his beloved son to them, thinking that maybe this time it'll be different. It isn't, doesn't strike us as a particularly smart thing to do. And yet Jesus describes God as acting in a way that seems rather foolish to us. And in that, I think he's revealing something very important about who God is. Namely, he's telling us that God is so in love with us that he allows reason to go right out the window. That means that God never gives up on us and will continue to forgive us each time we come to him asking for forgiveness. Each time we turn to him in the sacrament of reconciliation. But the parable also reminds us how important it is to come to God in repentance and ask for that forgiveness. After all, it shows what we already know if sin, is if, le if sin is left unchecked, it continues to grow. It continues to become more and more dominant in our lives until we find ourselves in the position of those tenants who try to gain happiness by multiplying crime on top of crime, starting to get themselves to believe that not only was it okay to murder the son of the landlord? But that somehow this would end up being good for them. It is the same with us. If we allow our sin to grow, if we don't allow God to heal it, it will start to dominate our reasoning. It will start to silence our conscience. And we will start to believe that not only are our sins okay, but that somehow one more sin will make us happy instead of continuing to drive us deeper and deeper into the unhappiness of being separate from God. So I encourage you to make sure that you are taking some time regularly for an examination of conscience. We all need to keep listening to where God is calling for our hearts to be healed and cleaned. And when we reflect on that, then we need to bring those places to the Lord and ask Him to set us free through absolution. We can trust that as often as we do that, as often as we come to the Lord in confession, He will give us forgiveness and all the grace we need to pick ourselves up and move forward again, to resist temptation in the future, to grow in love rather than letting sin grow in us. After all, we know that God loves us unconditionally, loves us even to the point of foolishness. <laughs>